so the stuff you need is a one screwdriver one USB 3.0 to SATA cable and obviously one SSD I have a Kingston 500 gigabyte you can see here yeah 480 gigabyte and the current is on my computer I believe 240 gigabyte and we will replace that with five, 480 gigabyte let's start the process let's connect the SATA side with the SSD and the USB side with the computer The application we are going to use is a mini tool partition wizard version 10. You can find the link in the description. I have uploaded the application in my Google Drive and you can download from there. If you don't want to use my application, you can find the version 10 on the internet and just download from there. Partition Wizard 10 is totally free application. Version 12 or 13 is also available on the internet, but those are paid. You have to buy the application in order to convert your HD to SSD. So I have downloaded already. Click on Mini Partition Wizard Free, and you will see the main platform of the application. You can find all your computer partitions and external storage here. Now click on migrate operating system to SSD HD. By default option 1 is selected which means you are going to replace entire HDD with SSD. Just leave that selected and uh, hit the next. Here you need to select your destination disk. Uh, I can see from the size because of 480 gigabyte and from the size I can select this one and press the next. The warning the whole data will be destroyed don't worry the, uh, the external drive data will be destroyed. Here select the option 1 fit the partition to the entire disk and uh, hit the next. Click finish once you click finish don't forget to hit apply at the first icon let's click apply here apply pending changes yes and the process will start here I will fast forward here a little bit You will see a message here that the C partition is being used right now. You need to restart now. Uh, as we know, we can copy the partition while it's being used. Press restart now. Once the computer came back up, you don't need to press anything. It will start the process automatically. As you can see here, partition wizard has started in one second. Here there are total 8 process that you will see the time, how much time it's going to take. Um, and there the first process is started here is 11, 12, 13 is pretty fast. Um, but uh, that's only the first process. Don't think that uh, it's gonna be done. It's already done in 25%. No, it's not. It's just the first process. It usually take about uh, two to three hours. It depends on totally your uh, size of your current hard drive and the size of your SSD. I will fast forward here again. After some time, now it's 97, 98% is going to done pretty soon, and uh, you can. Uh, and see here oh, once it's done you don't need to press anything and uh, the window will start automatically so the all eight process are done computer is going to restart in 60 second and here so when you will see your uh, login screen you ju just need to shut down your computer and then we will physically replace the hard drive windows is loading 
okay here you need to click on that power icon here at the bottom right corner and uh, click on shut down your computer then we will replace the hard drive physically once computer is completely shut down unplug the power cable unplug the USB cable for our SSD and turn your laptop over and we will unscrew the back cover and replace the hard drive with SSD so here I only have uh, three screws this cover you might get the, the too many and you might have to open the whole back cover but uh, my SSD and hard drive and the RAM only in this cover so I will open this these screws and uh, uh, pretty fast let's open the back cover here and you can see at the bottom here is my hard drive so uh, this one is connected with only two screws we will open those two screws and put this SSD inside. Before we replace the SSD, here is a very important step which some people gonna miss it is to unplug the power cable, the battery connector. If you have a pop in pop out battery, just remove the battery. If you have a connector, then remove the battery connector. This is very important. Otherwise, you might damage your system board so let's open the screw you might get a four screw here usually it be pretty common but uh, this one is uh, uh, connected with only two screw there is a lock here just pull this one out and slide down and we will use the same casing for SSD we put the sides to the SSD and let's put this SSD inside now Just put it here, slowly slide up and you will see this connector will sit inside. Put the back lock, put the screw back in place, put the battery connector back in and make sure it's connected firmly. And then we will put the back cover uh, again and tight all the screws. We are pretty much done here, that's, that's it, uh, there is not much we need to do here in the back side of the laptop and just tighten the screws. Turn your laptop over and here is the fun part. Just press the power button and you will see the window will start automatically. If you are turning on your laptop first time after replacing HSD to SSD, it might take longer time, but don't worry, next time is gonna take very less time. So let's wait here. Once we will see the login screen, I will login and show you the hard drive detail okay i will put the password here you can see the c drive i can zoom in to show you how big it is it's the 416 gigabyte you know the system drive take up some space the good thing about using this application is you will get your all the documents and all the application installed even your license subscriptions and everything you don't need to do anything else let's restart again with the timer and we will see how much time is gonna take so usually uh, what my previous experience is gonna take from uh, 14 15 or 16 seconds but uh, let's see how long it's gonna take 45 46 oh 16 okay so if you like the video please subscribe my channel and hit that like button